Big Sandy farmer Bob Quinn is one of the world's foremost experts in organic farming. He's the man who brought us Cracklin Kamut and most recently opened up the Quinn Institute, a 700 acre regenerative organic research project. And before that, he built a subterranean greenhouse. What I'm trying to do on my farm is grow everything I eat and eat everything I grow. Organic farmer Bob Quinn had the idea for a subterranean greenhouse a decade ago. And it took root when he saw an ad through a Nebraska company called Greenhouse in the Snow. I went to visit them and they showed me oranges and lemons and grapefruit and all this stuff in Nebraska. And I said, I've got to have this. With the help of other farmers, it took about two years to build the 17 by 90 foot cement walled structure. In, in Nebraska, they go down four feet. But they suggested I go down eight feet here for, for further north. The geothermal controlled Great. greenhouse features about 300 feet of four inch pipe, 10 feet underground to help regulate airflow. All year long it's 50 degrees, so in the winter it's providing a little heat, and the summer it's providing a little cooling. In the winter that feels warm, right? but today it feels nice and cool. The greenhouse is divided into two sections, the first under two feet of topsoil and compost. This room is 60 feet long, and this is my citrus room, we call it my orange room. So in here is all my citrus. I have lemons and limes and grapefruits and pomelos and I have some bananas in the middle. Um, I've got a fig tree right here in the end. Next door is the stone fruit room under three feet of topsoil. So I have peaches, I have uh, sweet cherries, I have plums. The greenhouse has had its share of challenges. Well, in April we had the electricity went off for 30 hours. All the fans quit so I didn't have and I was gone. I didn't have any way uh, to cool this. And during a 40 below stretch in the winter, the inside temperature dropped enough to put a temporary halt to his banana growing venture. They, they, they really got cooked this winter and had to start over. So all those bananas came up from the ground um, uh, since January. And while the sizzling heat of a Montana summer can send the temperature soaring. It's just over 100, 100, almost 110, my gosh. Bob loves the thought of being a snowbird without leaving Big Sky Country. Um, so a lot of people, my grandparents, my parents, even my sister, uh, used to go to Arizona for the winter, but my wife wasn't really interested in going to Arizona for the winter, so I decided to bring a little Arizona to me. Southeast and of Big Sandy, Tim great. McGonigal, MTN News.